Hey everyone, welcome back to part 8 of Deep Elf Wizard of Fedas. I'm your plant host, Ultraviolent4. In the last one we managed to pick up the Swamp Rune and we fought our way down to the Snake Pit 4 where we're currently staring down a pair of Najarajas who... Uh, you can see Vashnir was in the background there but we killed her right at the end of the last one. Uh, we used the Scroll of Vulnerability to harbor MR and then we hexed her which is a good tip to remember against dangerous uniques, just in case you didn't see the end of the last one. And so, uh, we currently got no mushroom allies. So the question is, how do I fight these guys? Do I just want to... I've kind of got to decide how many things are running at me right now. Um, we we'll miscast that. Because uh, if, if the whole ending vault is running at me, then it would be a good idea to make some Oplog plants. But it doesn't seem too bad, maybe? I think it does seem too bad, but at this point it's too late. We're out of mono, so we're just going to have to go up. Oh. Alright, I'm going to X that stair off. It's pretty dangerous now. I'm going to go pick a new one. Alright. There we go. Uh, Shock Serpent can hex those pretty well. Uh, okay. Third time lucky. There's Nicola. Uh, we 100%, we just check, we can't can't hex him. We 100% need uh, our luck against him. So I'm going to put that on instead of the magical power. Okay. If I, if I had another scroll of vulnerability, I could do a similar thing where I have his MR and then uh, try to hex him. But of course we don't have any more, so we can't do that. All right, I should be making more mushroom allies. I was thinking about Nicola and then we got that we need allies. This guy has seen us. We have our Aralek on. Ooh, we get to eat him. Ray. Um, I'm leaving leaving the Aralek on because Nicola can do up to or even over a little bit over a hundred um, electric damage per turn. So even that little bit of time it would take for me to switch rings. Um, I could lose a very big chunk of my HP. There we go. And we got one mushroom ally. Make that four again. Ah, we still have five piety. No need to worry about piety with Fedas. There he is. If I have a look at my hex chance on him, yeah, 10%. Um, I believe I can't shoot Orbs of Destruction through my Mushrooms. Um, I kind of don't want to find out. <laughs> so... Will that hit the wall? Uh, maybe it should be bolt recording him. Alright, there we go. We got him. Uh, we lost all our Mushrooms again. That's okay. We can rebuild them. He had a, a rapier of a lek. And a fourth mushroom. Okay. Uh, we're starving, so let's eat some bread. And we can put our magical power back on rather than the Aralek. Okay. Yeah, if you're a melee character, um, silence is also very good against Nicola. He's fairly trivial when he can't cast spells. Suddenly he's a lot less dangerous. Uh, okay, well we got teleport othered. That's interesting. I feel like the chances for that to succeed on us are probably pretty low. Considering we're wearing um, 
magic resistance on her hat. Ah, he just teleported my mushroom. Goodbye. Let's make a couple of new ones. So we're back down to four piety. I guess I guess people worried about fat ass piety, you win this round. No, you don't really. Cool. And I feel like we've done a lot of this fault now. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe there are still a million dudes in here. Uh, certainly some more Nagarajas coming. What if I just throw down... Hmm. Thinking about if I want to make one Oclob plant. How much fruit do we have? We have 33 fruit, which is actually quite a huge amount for this amount of time. So I'm just going to make one plant and I'm going to make it into an Oclob. Alright, so then maybe we're not quite finished with this vault, in which case uh, Oclob can help finish it off. You can stand on top of your Oclobs like this, in which case um, they can't hurt, can't get hurt. Um, but they'll still be able to fire. It's pretty OP actually. Uh, but that's a good, another good fed ass sort of abuse tip. Okay, there we go. I'll make one more mushroom. Alright, yeah, so you can see this Oclob is just killing everything, as is their want. I'll yell a bit, to see if anything else comes. But I think we're probably pretty good. Alright. Oh, ID. Okay, let's get this leather armor. Uh, that's not that good. Damn, disappointing. And I guess we'll do this other wand of digging. Okay. <laughs> More tomahawks. 65 of the things. There's our second rune. So we got. Uh, the Swamp Rune and now the Snake Rune. Excellent. Um, that Oclob was pretty good. Um, so I could have done pretty much the whole of Snake 5 like that if I just walked straight into that entrance. And I would have had to put a few more down. Say I put three or four Oclobs down, they would have just mowed down the whole end vault, most likely. Now we want to head into Vaults to do Vaults 1 to 4. I um, guess three mushroom allies is okay. Now that we're in... Uh, we lost one? That's okay. Going into vaults now, your mushrooms... Um, oh, we're off the set. Um, they start being a little bit less effective. Uh, because you start getting more AoE on monsters around this time, so you start seeing things like fire giants. Um, oops, I want to be going down. Um, and they'll just kill them. But that's okay. Basically, at this point in the game, we're strong enough to not really... I'm going to make a at least a third. Uh, we're strong enough not to need them anymore. So it's kind of like... Um, they've done their job, really, is what I'm trying to say. They've got you to this point where you're strong enough on your own not to need them. And then Fedas will um, always be there to give us Oclob plants if we want. And particularly in Zot, it's very strong. So we'll see. Um, the mushrooms are still going to be helpful in vaults. I'm not trying to say don't use them anymore. But I'm just saying they're going to be a fair bit easier to kill now at this stage of the game. When you're going around sort of your third rune stage. Ooh, that's a lot of guys. Let's freezing cloud them. If I ever find deflect missiles, that would be quite a nice pickup because we have quite a bit of air magic trained. Um, where is it there? We've got nine points of air magic and we have a plus three charms up or plus four charms aptitude. So we'd very, we'd very quickly get 
I deflect missiles going. Hmm. As for our training, I still don't have a ring that's amazing to wear all the time. Uh, so we've got 14.3 ice magic. It's more than our conjurations, actually. Well, how about a focus ice magic? We'll get it to 15 and then we'll turn it off. And then I'll go back to conjurations. And then we're probably at that stage um, getting enough. Oh, our guy got teleported away. Um, getting enough skills that we don't need the want the the wizardry ring. That's what I'm trying to say. It would be nice to have fire resistance at all times. What's our hex chance on him? It's really good. I think I have a macro for that, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. And he just drowned. <laughs> Excellent. Anything to ID? I guess the Wand of Lightning. That's a new book. Maybe that's Deflecting Missiles. No, it's a book of beasts. Some of Mana Viper is really good. Uh, what are our chances on that? 4%. That's a really good spell to have. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get some summon Mana Viper. Even though we have no summoning skill, um, we're still very easily able to cast this. Let's put it on F. We haven't been using Mephitic for a long time. Okay, so I have to remember that. Ugh. Entropy Weavers are never a joke. And a Book of the Dragon? <laughs> we don't need any of those. Did I drop my other book? Book of Beasts. Yeah, we don't need any of the others. Just the Mana Viper is good. Excellent. Uh, there's a, an Ice Dragon. We've got several points of RC. So that should be fine. We get immediately Corrode minus 8. And again, we are never lucky. We didn't get an Ice Dragon scales. Um, that could potentially be good. Book of Necromancy. Uh, it has Regen in it. Uh, spell levels. Yeah. Okay. Well, apparently we can just cast Regen basically off the strength of our... Um, like intelligence, because we don't have any necromancy and we don't have any charms, but we, it's still at a 4% chance. Alright, so we can cast regen if we need to, although at not very high spell power, but all the same. Good to remember if I need to regenerate my health. And I'd like to go, yeah, there we go, eat one of these. Throw more cold on top of these guys. Uh, we somehow lost a mushroom at some point. I didn't notice. Rip mushroom. Okay. I don't want to walk into this room because I'm going to get trapped by the, the warden. But, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's one strat. That's actually that's a really good strat. That was really next level by that vault warden. So once upon a time, when you made freezing clouds, uh, you could just make them and step around a corner, or you could put them down, and I think you could even go upstairs, and the things would die. Um, that got nerfed so that now if you lose sight of your freezing clouds, the freezing clouds will disappear. So by closing the door like that. He got rid of all the clouds and then he opened it. That was really, really strongly played. <laughs> yeah, I'm really impressed by that, that play there. Uh, nothing to eat. I didn't get a corpse from any of those. Oh, there's one. 
and I'll make a third mushroom. Not the one that's currently under an ice cloud. Okay. Um, I just want to check my training. I feel like I should be doing things, but no. It's okay for now. Um, I don't need to go higher than 17 spellcasting. That seems like it's probably too much already. Um, again, I've been talking about it a lot this game, whether I want to keep going with spellcasting. And at this point, it's probably too high. There we go, finally hexed him. Make them come to me while I then use my, my zero skill demon trident to tab things as a deep elf. What about, yeah, I get a 50% chance to hex even the, the water. Very high, very high hexes. Ooh, that's a bit of a scary room. Not quite so scary if you do this. Um, in saying that, I don't really want to get hit by the enormous slime creature. So we'll step behind and then we'll keep board coding. Mm, we got there. Eat him. There we go. Probably should have just hexed those guys. Yep, it's alright if it hits me. There's a, some blue troll leather armors. They look pretty cool, I think. Um, something invis. Let's see what it is. We'll put on our ring of C invis. Okay. And if I look at my spells now, uh, without the wizardry, um, Freezing Cloud and Boards of Cold are fine, but Orb of Destruction and Summon Mono Viper aren't. So I think what I might do is 14.9 um, Ice Magic, so I'll get to 15 and then I'll think about it. Um, that should be pretty soon. It'll be like a monster or two. ID, we'll do this Clouds. Uh, we don't want the the other guy to call things into the level. There's a Rakshasa. Ice magic to 15. Alright, let's turn that off. So I want to go Conjurations. I'm going to focus that so I can get my Orb of Destruction going. Um, I'm going to turn spell casting off very soon when it gets to 17. And... Um... I think if I train a little bit of summonings, um, that will get my summon mana viper up. We can maybe even turn dodging off when we get to 15 and just sort of go um, more into the fighting. Uh, we're out of mana here. This is a bit scary. All right. We'll make some mushrooms like this. We'll sit behind our guys. Mm, okay. Uh, maybe we'll just hex him. And we'll just walk away. Okay. Uh, he's back again. Hex him and then... Well, we'll use our mana first. <laughs> well, we've got the... We've got a corpse. Get some new mushroom allies. And we're trying to pick up Scroll of ID. Anything to read. A rune shield. We may as well see. It's just plus two. Not that exciting. Uh, there's a Sphinx. If I XV the Sphinx, it's got 
Paralyze is only an 8% chance, so that's fine. I'm not too afraid of that. Make a third ally. More vulnerability. So that's good to use again if we see a unique who's scary. We can halve their MR and then try to hex them. That was not a good stare. Let's pick a new one. Golden Eye. Oh, we got him. I wonder if that was a shapeshifter. Spellcasting to 17. Alright, let's turn that off. Um, so we're going conjurations for our orb of destruction and a bit of summonings for um, summon mana viper. Steep troll skeleton hurts. Alright, it's alright. We can wear demon trident user. <laughs> alright. Oh, we're carrying the shield around for some reason. I think we just we picked it up because it was magic. Uh, okay, well this is bad. Um, what's first things first? We're gonna throw down a a freezing cloud, and we're gonna try to use our bolt of colds. I think we might just need to teleport out of here. Yeah, let's just teleport. Uh, while we're waiting for it to kick in, uh, okay, well we definitely can't. Um, I don't want to blink because I could still land in these squares where I'm going to get hit by all these dudes. Um, and I could also land in the freezing clouds. So I'm going to read a fear. Uh, we got... Yeah, okay, we got all the ones that mattered. That was a very scary room. Um, I think I should have just teleported immediately rather than even thinking about trying to fight that stuff. Bolt of cold down the line. And that is another ring of magical power. Alright, so I think we're going to drop wizardry for now. We're going to grab that magical power. And that's going to give us another extra 9 magic points. It takes us to 60, which is pretty crazy. What I was going to do otherwise was probably put on a ring of protection from fire. But I can always put that on when I see something that necessitates it. This book has a bunch of things we already have. Nothing to ID. Summoning to two. That's not bad. Um, I just checked my my points of MR. I've only got two, which is not so high. Um, I was just thinking briefly about whether I could go into Elf at some stage. Um, the answer is not just yet. I mean, you can always stand behind your mushrooms to avoid vanishes. Um, and that works, but you'd still rather have the three points of MR. Lagging out. We got four extra fruit. That's basically two extra Oclod plants. <laughs> That's how you should think of fruit. Basically as Oclobs. Make a corridor of cold for these guys to walk into. Excellent. We're heading back towards that crazy room now. I'm a little bit afraid, but um, it looks like we're thinning them out a bit like this, rather than being stuck in the door with them all um, being mitered and able to hit us at once. All right, so we've got dodging to 15. I think we could turn that off. Um, we still haven't seen an armor that's that's good for us to upgrade to. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe the Swamp Dragon scales, but it's not that exciting. I'd probably still rather an Ice Dragon or a Fire Dragon or even 
an acid dragon, which we never seem to get. Um, so the point there is, um, I don't think we need um, armor training yet. If and when we upgrade, uh, armor training would be good, but not right now. So the way that I'm doing this here is, um, I'll keep invocations going because it's good with Fedas. Conjurations, I'll stop that once my orb destruction gets out of red and to a reliable um, castable level. And then summonings, I'll just do a little bit more of. Where's some of Mono Viper? It's already at 6%. It's probably. Um, probably don't need much more. Maybe I'll go to about 4 points of summoning and I'll turn that off. And then we'll pretty much be focusing fighting to try to get some more HP. Having 122 is pretty low. I mean, that's that's basically what a deep elf's like, you're fragile. But um, if we can put a whole bunch of um, fighting skill that will make us much more survival. Ah, uh, okay. This is not good. Um, let's put our Ara Lek ring on. Um, because by Susan is going to make electric storm clouds. And maybe we'll throw down some freezing clouds and we can bolt a cold down the line here. I think I need to step behind my my mushrooms here. Is she really resistant to cold? She is resistant to cold. Yeah, I feel like that wasn't really doing much. What about, so it's a 21% chance to hex her. I could, again, um, read vulnerability and then confuse her. But I don't really think it's necessary. There we go. So we just, we just rolled. 20% until we got there. And now we'll try to demon train at her. Maybe I should be using my acid wand. Yeah, okay. Oh, we got her. Uh, there's a storm dragon armor. Storm dragon scales. It's plus two. Um, that's interesting. Let's make a couple more ash mushroom bros just before we think about this one. Um... Okay, let's see. A Storm Dragon Scales is... It's actually quite heavy. It's a 15 encumbrance rating. Yeah, okay, it's heavier than I was thinking. Uh, we've only got 10 strength, so I don't think we could wear this very well. We're 17, 20. This is 24, 8. And our spells are, yeah, not usable. Okay, yeah. No, that's not happening. Cold clouds and bolts of cold failed. Okay, uh, I think that guy just. I oh know. I thought the deep troll um, used LRD to confuse itself, but apparently not. Uh, Takimas, that's another very useful thing I haven't been using here. There we go. I feel like that, the number of times that we tried that there wasn't actually worth it. <laughs> As in, we could have just killed it. Look at this tabbing. Tabbing with our zero pole arm skill. Who needs pole arm skill? can just go without it. Apparently we're strong enough to tab these skeletal warriors. Even with 122 total HP and no weapon skill. That's it. I'm checking these occasionally to see that it's not like a juggernaut skeleton or something. That's just gonna um, take me by surprise and do 70 damage. Um, apparently this Tengu Reva is pretty strong though. Let's get the meat ration, we're nearly starving. Alright, there's our crypt entrance. We've got extra intel file level up. 
I just remembered we can have magical power back on instead of Arlek. Got several several packs of enemies coming at us at once. But fortunately we can just freezing cloud in every direction. I should step back onto my mushroom so this two-headed ogre isn't just hitting me while I do nothing about it. Summonings to four. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay. Conjurations is getting there. It's at 7% at the moment. Make one more mushroom, we'll have four. Oh, we're back down to three piety. So I guess I'm, I'm losing this argument. <laughs> Again, not really, because yes, we're only at three piety, but why do you need more? Alright, down to vault three. That's a lot of orcs. That freezing cloud missed everything. Ooh, new scroll. What haven't we seen? So I do backslash and minus. And it could be acquirement, holy word, random use, listener summoning. Um, I'm gonna ID it. If it's summoning, I don't wanna waste it. Holy word, I don't have much use for. Okay. <laughs> I always love reflecting large rocks back at stone giants and cyclopses and things. I don't know why, it's just always funny. Okay. Uh, we want one of these corpses to eat. Probably against that guy, I probably should be stepping behind my mushroom. And it looks like I got, um, it got wrecked from behind. So my mushrooms got killed while I was resting from behind me. Um, the shock of that has made me forget the point that I was trying to make, but I'm sure it was a very, a very good point. Oh, maybe I'll remember in the future. This is a bit crazy looking. Fortunately, um, Volta Cold's very good. These guys are mited, so that's a bit of a worry. Okay, that's all right, we got there. And we'll make one more mushroom. All oh, right, I was trying to say I should step behind the vault warden because I only have, well, I now have three points of MR. Hmm, maybe we could go into elf next. Um, here's a fire dragon. If I have a look, got a 54% chance to hex it, although he hasn't seen me. He has now. Please get hexed. Okay, good. Um, the shadow dragon though. Is a real worry. Um, I might need to teleport. Oh, there's a fire dragon scales there. Yeah, the chance to um, hex the shadow dragon is basically impossible, and he's very resistant to cold, um, and does a lot of negative energy damage to me. So I think I just want to teleport. There's also the. Oh, he's mitered too. Yeah, there's also the other stuff that's here. That's a bit scary as well. Something is hitting me. <laughs> Shudder Earth, okay. Uh, magical power again. 
I can kill the shadow dragon from range. Oh, this is not good. If I have, um, what's the spell called? If I have all of destruction, um, which I'd like to try to shoot at this guy too. Good. Uh, he got blown up everywhere. Always very satisfying. I should have a mushroom ally or two with me. There we go. Uh, our auto pickup is it is on. There we go. All right. Well, we finally ate that stuff. Here's the shadow dragon. Um, yeah, from range we can over destruction him because it does a lot of damage and it's irresistible. Um, of course, over destruction does more damage the further away you are. So um, that's why I talked about if I'm far away from him, I can do it. If he's standing next to me, it's not going to be as successful. Guys, just happy to sit back there and just LRD me. Very devious. Oh, that's got to be a shapeshifter. Yeah. There's no way there's a, a just a, a satyr walking around in vaults. Uh, Tengu Reaver's a little bit scary. Um, he can do a lot of elemental damage. Uh, I have a 54% chance to hex him. Um, is that true? Yeah, it is. Well, there we go. We finally did it. Took us a few goes, but we got there. I don't want to hit him while he's doing pain mirror. I'm gonna say he won't reflect the freezing cold, uh, the freezing cloud damage back at me. Um, that's a mitered two-headed ogre. Chance to hex a war gargoyle is low. Uh, the two-headed ogre is seventy-one percent, but we failed it. Uh, we're getting sandwiched. We have no mana. I'm going to teleport again. There we go. Um, we're kind of not very far from where we just were. But uh, we got away from that stuff. We need more allies. Back to three. And just check my training again. Orbit destruction's at 5%, it's yellow. You probably don't need too much more conjurations. Um, it being at 5% is pretty good, but it's also a spell that when you're using it against scary uniques, you really want it to come off. So I guess we'll train a bit more of it. There's a fire giant. I need protection from fire on. What about 54% chance to hex him? That's not true. Yeah, 37. That's still pretty high though. Yeah, so we got him. I think we killed everything there. Let's eat a bread ration. Hmm. Oh, this guy's calling things. If I can quickly bolt a cold him before he gets it off, I did. Um, this guy confused. Doesn't look like it. Um, okay. Well, our mushrooms helped us out there. Um, we're we dying here. Don't think so. We can hex him at fifty-four percent chance. Uh, we failed though. Uh, we are dying. We're on three down, three HP. Okay. So I very severely underestimated uh, the damage that he would do in melee. Uh, we deserve to die there. How does he hurt so much? Okay, he can do apparently 30 damage in melee. I did not know that. Uh, okay. So, um, I have, my potions are less effective at restoring my health. So to heal here, um, 
I don't know that I'll heal enough health that if he max damage rolls me again, that he won't just kill me. Um, if I use the scroll of blinking to blink away, um, he can then just shoot me with a bolt, which is probably even worse than him being in melee. Um, he doesn't have great MR, so I could read a fear scroll, but if he resists it, then I could just die. Mm, I think I heal and I just I I roll on the fact that he's not gonna max damage me and then I just acid wand him. Alright, let's cough heal wins. We only got to 15, that was really low. Let's go again. 34, okay. Now let's acid wand him. Okay, there we go. Um so yeah, that was really bad. I just I should have died there. That was uh way too cocky. I was just on 40 HP or so. And then just tabbing him with my um, zero skill demon trident. While the, the zero skill demon trident has been very useful a lot of times so far, uh, not so good when you're on a tiny amount of HP. We have our protection from fire still on. Conjurations to 16. We'll check orb is now at 4. I think we'll go one more. We'll take conjurations to 17 and then we'll stop. Let's make a new mushroom alley. Man, that was very bad. Um, and that wouldn't have been a happy little accident. That would have been a very big and unhappy accident. Uh, let's make a freezing cloud on these guys. Uh, he just summoned in a lot of dudes and we've been marked. So now the whole floor is coming. Although I feel like that shouldn't be that much more. All right, I'm like, why is the, <laughs> why is the freezing wraith not dying? It's because it's immune to cold. So my bolt of cold is not hurting it in the slightest. Can I just confuse it? 71% chance. There we go. Um, we have more bolts of cold. Good. I'll shoot acid. I don't want to be um, petrified. Okay, there we go. So we got <laughs> we got freed from the door here, but then there's another one on the other side, along with a Yakto captain and a Raks Rakshasa. Um, I need to teleport. That's a really unfortunate and bad mark that we just got. Okay. Well, the mark's worn off. Good. Uh, we'll make a couple new mushrooms again. So we're, we're having a bit of trouble keeping them. Ooh, is that Argo? That's Argo. Okay. Uh, so Argo, it's a speed axe. It's a broad axe that has speed on it and plus MR. Um, it's a plus 8 broad axe as well. It requires 18 skill to get to um, its Mindalay. But uh, that's a pretty good weapon to have. Um, it's also good just in case I need um, emergency MR. Like, so say it's a good item to hold on the orb run in case I see panlords who might hex me. And it's probably not a bad weapon to fight things with. Obviously I can't reach over my allies with Argo, but so when I was at um, when I was no skill meleeing that Yaktor captain before, I guess probably better than the Demon Trident. I'm gonna put it on W. Interesting. Wanna eat that deep troll? We need to drop something because now we. Now we are full, full of slots again. Um, put magical power. Oh, we got a new ring. Okay. Let's see what that is. A ring of protection from magic. Um, that gives us a million MR. I'm gonna say we don't really need it. Um, if I need emergency MR, um, I'll just 
Oh, wield Arga. I'm gonna turn this off. Protection from magic. Okay, good. Right, and I'll put magical power on again. Yes, free piety for the zombie. Don't forget, something's hitting my mushroom from behind. Something's hitting it a lot of times from behind. Um, that's got to be a an unseen horror. Is it? No. Odd. I don't know what was happening there. Yes, free piety. Let's see how Argo goes. Can we fight a frost giant skeleton? Just by tabbing with it? We can. Even with no axe skill, we, we're tabbing at 1 and 1.1 1 .1 per... So each swing is taking about a turn. Uh, that's insane. So let's see, with this one, it's 1.3. 1 with Aga, 1.1. 1. Yeah. I think if I'm just... Um, if I'm just tabbing things by standing next to them, um, Aga's better. What just took out my mushroom from behind? Jeez. Can hex that dragon. And we still didn't get any ice dragon scales. Never lucky. Uh, hex this guy, 71%. Yeah. They're, they're pretty insane. Um, what if I throw an orb of destruction at him? There we go. Make a couple new mushroom buddies. Back to three piety. Um, okay, well that guy just got wrecked. Uh, we have more rings. Okay. A ring of ice. No use for that. Back to magical power. Um, I'm thinking now that um, because my over destruction is usable, that I'm going to drop this stuff of cold and pick up the stuff of conjuration. Um, it does much the same thing. I'm losing a point of RC, but um, I already have one. So it's not a huge deal. Uh, yeah, we'll just ignore the meat ration. Uh, that's a new stuff though. So I should check out what that is. Um, I'm going to drop immolation. Will I? No, I won't. Uh, never drop immolation. Never. Um, I'll drop the royal jelly though. I can always come back if I really need food. Stuff of death. Okay. Not so exciting. And that's just floor done. Alright. Um, yeah, I think we'll call that an episode. So if you join me in the next one, we'll finish off Vaults 4. We'll probably head into Elf and then maybe Depths after that. As in, well, if I did Elf, it would definitely be Depths next. So yeah, let's say that's it. So we'll go Vaults 4, we'll do Elf, and then Depths. All right. That's maybe not all in the one episode. We'll see. See you later.